Hey guys, my name is Kay. Now or no for sure. Hey, 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 hey. Do the cat daddy. Do the cat daddy in relations to the cat daddy. I have a surprise for y'all. Look! I got my own wheelchair. Oh my gosh. You know I be cat daddy in every day. <laughs> Move your arms like you wheelchair stuff. The struggle is trying to wheelchair yourself around the school. But no, I did not steal this for my recent sugar daddy. What? <laughs> Actually, something happened within the past month that I'll talk about later because right now, I don't feel like being depressed. Anyway, today, I'm back with a serious makeup routine slash hair, I think. I don't know. I never do my hair. I wake up like this. I woke up like this. I wake up like this. Ew. It's ugly. I'm going to show you how to get that, um... That Summer Eve doll look. Wait, did I say Summer Eve? Isn't that something for your coochie? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I'm gonna show you how to get that Summer doll look. For example, here's a picture of what it looks like. I did this yesterday because I got some new supplies yesterday and I'm so excited to show you guys. You just don't understand. And guess what? This look is for dark skin because say it with me now, I'm black. <laughs> I'm tired of some people coming up to me like, are you mixed? Oh my gosh. You're half Mexican, aren't you? You're half Asian, actually. One of my friends asked me if I was half white. Trick, do I look white? But yeah, hopefully you guys will like it. This is my first time actually trying to be serious. With that, let's start. Can we pretend like airplanes in the night sky, like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now, a wish right now for you to shut up. So what I like to do before actually putting on makeup is make sure my face is clean of everything, you know, have a blank canvas, blah, 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 whatever the beauty gurus say. And so with that, you already know what I'm about to say. <laughs> I like to use the Three Step Skincare Professional by Avon, duh. I showed this in my um, skincare video. It comes in the scrub, the toning pad, that's what it is, right? Tampons? It say tampons? Do you see that too? I'm not sure if I want this on my face anymore. Oh wait, it's in a different language. <laughs> Work with me here. <laughs> and the correcting lotion. I love this stuff because, you know, it makes your skin look all glowy and stuff. Like that finishing look on makeup. But I'm not wearing makeup. This is my natural face. I'm so excited because I can show you what the pads look like right now. See, finally got some. It looks like that. No, they do not look like tampons. And the best part about this, it has sacilic, sacilic, Cecily, Cecily, like, statistics. It's spelled S A L I C Y L I C. Ciciliac. Um, that kind of acid, which is found in most acne treatments that doctors prescribe and stuff like that. But this, you can just get it over the counter. And pretty much all it does is it makes your face tingle a little bit because it's dirty. When your face starts to tingle, you know you got the shingle. <laughs> But first I want to show you how you can moisturize your hair without putting a lot of unhealthy stuff within your hair. This stuff is all organic and natural and safe for your hair. I kind of dried out my hair just a little bit to show you what I'm working with here. And I love doing this. I do it with my skincare routine every morning when I wake up and before I go to bed. And I have my hairstylist to thank for that. Thank you, Miss Alicia. You know I'm about to give you a shout out. You my home girl. <laughs> so basically all you need is three fourths of your favorite conditioner. Mine's is Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. One eighth of vegetable glycerin. Oh, I like the way that sounds, glycerin. <laughs> and basically this softens your hair. And you're going to need one eighth of water. There's no water in here, but you get what I'm saying, right? What you want to do is mix this up very well, right? Just go ahead and mix it up. Mix it. Shake it, girl. Shake, shake, shake. And you want to squirt this all over your hair in the creases and stuff like that. Ah! <laughs> And this costs under like 15 to 20 dollars depending where you get your products from. So yeah, you just want to make sure you're probably on the way through. 
So after this, you just want to make sure you comb it and brush it through. So if you're doing this in the daytime and say you have to be somewhere important but you don't have a lot of time to do your hair, you can just wrap it, put a cap over your head, and then sit under the hair dryer if you have one or use your um, blow dryer and it will be like looking like flawless and stuff like that. It will come out a little bit straight, not a lot, but like enough to look like that curly straight, I guess. But for me, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to twist it and wrap it. So bear with me the way I twist my hair. I don't really do my hair. My mom did my hair for like most of my life and I never really learned how to do my hair. So it's going to look really ghetto. I'm sorry. So now guys, I'm going to show you how to get that doll look with the huge eyes without using any kind of contacts. Everything is cheap because that's how I roll. So next what we're going to do is we're going to want to moisturize your face. But if you're like me and you already have like moisturizer in your daily skincare routine, it should be fine. So first what we want to do is we want to add some primer to your face everywhere. You know, you want to put that on just to make sure your makeup stay on for the whole day. The primer I'm using is Hard Candy Ultra Light Formula and basically what it does makes your skin look very nice and shiny. <laughs> We're just going to take like a dab of it and then just rub it throughout the whole face. Next what you're going to want to do is add either tinted moisturizer or BB cream that matches your face skin but you're going to take some of that and you're just going to want to rub it all over your face now since we rubbed that in next what we're going to do is we're going to contour our face for the highlighting part i'm going to be using elf hd lifting concealer and this shade is medium since i have a rounder face i'm just going to do right here i'm not going to go all the way back because that would make my face look a little weird and we're just going to do triangles illuminati status The light hits your face it's basically hitting all the places like I'm doing right now in this spot for the shading I'm using the red line color stay 24 hour um, foundation and basically where the light hits and where it shades is where we're going to put this Okay, now we look like Kuta Kinte running for his life. So for this next part, I do not recommend doing this with your fingers. I saw this in the store yesterday and I was just like, oh my gosh, what is this? This is cute. We want to dampen it just a little bit. And I'm dampening this with the e.l.f. makeup mist.
we're gonna powder highlight the um, highlighted areas that we did and for that I'm using the Jephora I don't know I got it from some Korean website by accident I thought I was getting something else but this came and it actually works so I was happy why did I open it I opened it and made a mess For eyeliner, all I'm using is the e.l.f. It's liquid eyeliner. And we're just gonna be putting it on like usual. Yas, yas, yas. <laughs> Tickles my eyeball. Trying to get that doll look, what we wanna do is just, we want a regular white eye pencil. And we're just gonna be drawing in the corner. And then we want to add mascara. So I'm using the Miss Manga mascara. I just put this on and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm in the anime. When did this happen? <laughs> so next what we're doing is we are adding eyelashes. And you just want thick black ones so we can make that big eye effect without using circle lenses. I got these kind and it's just like it reminds me of doll lashes how they like stick out. And so we're going to be adding those. So next what we want to do is we just want to add blush to your cheeks. Not a lot, well maybe a lot. I'm using Gleeful by MAC, it looks like this. And then we just want to take some and go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the lids. And basically all we're going to do is make it look shiny, that's all. That's all you need to do. So. Get our handy dandy lid brush. What I like for use for lids is this brush. It's by e.l.f. and it was only a dollar at Walmart. <gasps> I don't like Walmart. We're going to be using the Toki Doki palette by um, Urban Decay and we're going to want to use Chopper. This is almost done and I'm so proud. That's it guys, that's it for like the eye part, but for the lip part, um, depends what you want to do, you can do whatever, just go ahead. But for me, I'm just going to make my lips like a little bit reddish pink, kinda, and I'm going to gloss it, that's all I do. So for that, I'll be using the Almay Smart Shade Butter, and this is number 90, Berry Medium, and it's really cute. It looks like this and sadly I use most of it so like I just take my finger and just, like, just put it on there. It really makes my lips look cute, see? Mm -hmm. I look like Victoria Grande. Wait, oh, I am so sorry. I'm so stupid right now because Ariana Grande is my boo. Do I look like Ariana Grande? Mm, mm. That little like innocent Korean look she be having. Mm. And then for the gloss part, we just want to take it back old school with some smuckers. You know that was the bomb in elementary and the middle. It's like a strawberry like tinted color. And then we just want to put that right over. Like the final step is the setting spray. I hate this part because it's so cold. I never used this before and I was so happy when I found out about it. But when I used the setting spray, like my makeup didn't melt off at all. 
and like usually during the day my makeup melts and stuff like that but no not with this I was so happy just check make sure everything's good good yeah I think it's good here it comes oh 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 I got it in my ear oh we just want to let that soak in it smells so good mmm oh, oh it's in my mouth Y'all should warn me to close my mouth next to <laughs> And so, while we're waiting for this, um, you can go ahead and just take it off now. Oh, see, look, it's settled down. And guys, that's pretty much it. This is the Dalek. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. So with that, you kind of just want to add like summer clothes to it, like something that reminds you of summer. I don't know what reminds you of summer, like maybe some flowers or something, I don't know. I would add like a netted hat to it, you know, get that cute look, right, right. Yeah, it's all good. Or maybe you're the kind of person that just wants their hair like in cute little pigtails, you know. That's really cute too. And if you want to look gangster with it, because this look also like looks dug and you know, just throw on a, just throw on a like snapback and be like, what up, yo? I call this the Urban doll, the Brat doll, the Nicki Minaj doll. That was my tutorial for like the doll look. Let me show you my favorite outfit and we'll be done with it. See you guys later.